Hello, this is Father Patrick from St. Louis, Missouri. Today in the Maranatha Church, we start uh, the Great Lent, the period in which we fast, preparing for the memorial of the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, today we start uh, with a reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord says, And whenever you fast, do not look this small like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in the secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Do not store up for yourselves the treasures on earth, where moth and rust consume, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves the treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. With these words, uh, the Lord tells us not to show signs of sadness whenever we fast. Uh, we may think that uh, these Lenten days are days of sadness, but in reality, they are days of hope and joy. In our uh, Maronite tradition, we start uh, Lent with Cana Sunday, in which we remember the very first sign Jesus performed in the Gospel according to St. John. Uh, we remember that wedding uh, because we know that while we fast, we prepare the great wedding when the Lord comes again. You know, the Lord himself, he is the bridegroom, the bridegroom of the church. He said it about uh, himself. First of all, it was said about him in the Old Testament. And then he said it about, it, about himself in the New Testament. Uh, for example, when he was asked why his disciples do not fast like others, he answered them, uh, Can you make the friends of the bridegroom fast while he is with them? But the time will come when the bridegroom will be taken from them, and these days they will fast. So now we fast as friends of the bridegroom. Because he is taken away, and we are waiting for his second coming. So we're waiting with the church for the end of the times when her bridegroom comes to give her accomplishment. By fasting, we prepare the coming of the Messiah, the King, the bridegroom, who shall reign forever. So now we know that we fast, but we fast preparing for a feast. This is why fasting is about being joyful. It's about being hopeful, full of hope. So now we know that we cannot show signs of sadness because sadness is not for us. It's not for those who are invited for the supper of the Lamb. It's not for the ones who are invited for the wedding of the bridegroom. So only those who uh, use religious uh, rituals and traditions to seek the attention of others, they would show sadness, like the Pharisees, for example. We instead only show joy and try to share this joy with others. So, together we pray today. Lord uh, Jesus, uh, the bridegroom of the church, we are waiting for you. Please come soon. We ask you to come soon. Uh, because we are full of hope, we are waiting for you to come. Um, and uh, while we fast, uh, we want to show you how much we want you to be with us. So with all our uh, things that we are going to do for others, uh, with uh, all our words that we are going to say, let us show how much we want to be with you and we want you to reign in our lives. Uh, let us show how much we long for you to come and to reign in our lives. Uh, so Lord, uh, use us uh, through this holy land. Use us to show the others the joy of the wedding, the joy of the day when you shall come to reign forever.
Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen.